here today at the University of Wollongong. Um, wait, what's the thing? <laughs> We're asking what, piss, what pisses <laughs> people off. And I'm Sally. And I'm Gabby and we're here today at the University of Wollongong. Now today, Gabby, we're asking people what pisses them off? What pisses you off? The weather. It was supposed to be 18. It's now like 25 and I'm in a jumper. What is this? Yeah, me too. I'm feeling the heat. Yeah. All right, let's go find out what else pisses people off. Chloe, tell me, what pisses you off? I cannot stand people who chew really loudly or with their mouth open. Hey, so um, what pisses you off? Just people who are unnecessarily unkind and rude. Right. Declan? Yes. Just tell me what pisses you off, mate. What? What? I hate people who don't reply to texts or they reply by calling you. If I wanted to call you, I would have called you. Alright, so um, what pisses you off? Um, it really pisses me off when parents go in the carpool area and their children count as carpooling. That's not carpooling. Your kids can't drive. Do you just want to tell me what pisses you off? Uh, Wollongong University parking. <laughs> and um, how does it piss you off? Like, what's the problem with it? Um, there's just not enough spaces. When you got to get to class, you're in a rush and it takes half an hour to get a spot. What pisses you off? What absolutely grinds your gears? Uh, mostly when I'm in a rush to maybe get to class or go to work and then people form like a slow barricade in like a small hall. That's kind of the worst. Alright, so Amy, um, what pisses you off? Um, probably the way my boyfriend eats. I mean, just the way he chews. Yeah, constantly with his mouth open. It's the noise and just oh, watching them like chew and like seeing the food go around their mouth. It's disgusting. Just like being a serve, like a server at a shop or like serving someone as a customer. You just get those people who are just like unkind to you for no reason and it's like, hey dude, we're just trying to help. We're just trying to help. If we weren't here, you wouldn't be getting your food. What's your time span? About 10 minutes. If you haven't texted back in 10 minutes, you're a bit of a dog. I see, okay, I agree with that, but what if it's the first text you're sending? Yeah, the first text is alright, or you can, there's a bit of leeway if you're at work or something, but if it's like something urgent and you don't reply, nah. Parking's like a million dollars, so when we can get free parking, it's great, but when I'm gonna wait for a mom and her 5,000 children to leave, not so great. You bloody well know I chew loudly. I'm sorry, I can't help it, I'm a cow. Yeah. <laughs> is it noisy and like. Noisy, and he's just. He can't just sit up and bring the food like to him, he's got to like have his mouth like all the way down in his plate and it's really frustrating to watch sometimes. So he eats like a dog? Yeah. I literally honestly thought you were just about to say when people stop and ask me to do it. Oh no, no. <laughs> no on my way to class, I'm like, that's us. <laughs> you owe them something but it's like, I can refuse you service, just like be nice to me, yeah. you know? As Ellen DeGeneres says, be kind to one another. It's simple. It's simple. So when you're in a rush and people are just like, and you don't, there's no really way around them either. It's always that awkward kind of trying to dodge into a small gap, but they always kind of start closing it, like not realizing you're there, but feeling like you feel like they do know you're there. Not so great. Carpooling. There you have it. It's shit. Well, I work in a coffee shop, so maybe just people that. I don't know, if there's something wrong with their order, you ask, oh, can I help fix that for you? And they just refuse because they just want to complain that day. It's kind of, that's just all they want to do for the day, just complain at you. So today we learnt that people get pissed off by a whole bunch of things, from lagging to texts and people chewing too loudly. But Sally, what pisses you off? Everything. <laughs> no, mainly people that assume stuff and then, you know, they don't come to me directly for it. It's like, drama escalates, guys. Just talk to me. Exactly. Alright, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. See you later.